everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonmoon.com standing here in my very incompleted kitchen. And today I'm gonna show you how and why to do the Berkey water filter red dye test. If you watch any of my other videos on my Berkey, I did a full Berkey water filter review and why we chose it for our family. I'll link that in the description and in the cards and I did a how to clean the Berkey filter. You've heard about the red dye test. I'm sure I mentioned it in both of those videos. This basically is a test that you can do on your Berkey filters if you've had them a while to see if they are still performing optimally. So the Berkey black filter elements will filter out artificial red dye and this is something that you can do if your filters have been damaged in any way so for example, one time one of my children knocked the Berkey over and it cracked one of the filters. Actually, I wasn't sure if it had cracked it, but whenever I performed the red dye test, I found out that indeed it had because the red dye was getting through. So it's a great thing to do if you had a Berkey a long time in your family like I have, and every once in a while you want to check on the filter's effectiveness. So to do the test, start with an empty Berkey. So I've emptied out the top chamber. This is just so that I can get the right amount of dye per gallon of water. Then I'm just gonna take two quart mason jars, set them on my counter, and, and add the top chamber of the Berkey to it with each filter going over the jars. Now the reason I'm doing this instead of just allowing the water to go through the top into the bottom and then pouring it into a jar to see if it's red or not is this way I can decide which filter, if any, isn't working. So if this one has red in it, I will know that the filter on this side isn't working properly. If this one has red in it, I will know that this filter isn't working properly. Now you'll notice underneath here that I have two of the holes capped off. Now this is because I have two filters you can do four, I just have two, and then I have some plugs in the other two. Before performing this test, make sure that the filters are in nice and tight and that no water is going to be leaking through these holes without bypassing the filter. Now, I did just have some water in this top chamber and tested to see that nothing was leaking out. Now, I'm just going to take off the lid and I'm going to tank my water before putting it in. This way, I can just make sure that it gets kind of stirred around. The goal is to use a teaspoon of red dye per gallon. So I'm just going to do about a half of a teaspoon per half gallon. And now I'm just going to pour it into the top chamber. See what we get filtering through to the bottom. Okay, I think I have enough of a specimen now. I'm just going to put the top back on the Berkey and empty it out because there's still some water in there. And quite honestly, I had results I wasn't expecting because last time I did this test, they both came out super clear and I was just assured that both of my filters were working properly. But I guess somewhere in the move to this new house, we moved our Berkey around probably 10 different times while we've been renovating this kitchen. We moved to a new house, it was in transport. Something went wrong with one of my filters. Now, I probably should have tested it after the move a lot sooner. While this was going, I went in and ordered a new set of Berkey black filters. I'm gonna keep this one, of course, but I'm going to discard this one. Now, Berkey filters do come in sets, so I'm gonna have three now, which is totally fine because the filter comes with four holes. I'm going to put filters in three of them. That way the water will filter just a little bit faster. So I'm really glad that I did this test today, carried you guys along with it. I honestly just didn't think anything happened to one of our filters in the move, so now I know. And I will be having that replaced shortly because I just ordered it. I also ordered while I was on there because while I had free shipping, I've been wanting to order the 
spigot, the stainless steel one for quite a while, but I didn't really want to pay shipping. So now that I was already placing an order, I decided to throw that on. I also threw on the shower filter, which I will probably come on here and do a review of after we've been using it a while. It's something that I've had a lot of people ask me about and I've just never tried. So I'll be doing some more content on that. Also, I do have a post on the blog where I share how to get the Berkey water filter for a deal. There is a certain deal that Berkey is running that I'm supposed to only promote on my blog. So I'm gonna refer you there if you want to know more about that. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you are branded to the Berkey water filter, make sure to check out my review. I'll leave a link in the description box below as well as my how to clean a Berkey water filter video. And probably when I get my new filters in, since I do have to replace one, I will be making a how to assemble the Berkey water filter video. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and the handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.